Hey there! So I today am just going to be reviewing some mental health apps that I found. Um, I do, as a little disclaimer, I didn't review all of the mental health apps that there are out there because there are so many. There's some for schizophrenia, OCD, uh, depression, bipolar, all different sorts of things. I did ones that more apply to myself because it's easier for me to tell you what I think of those since I have been in certain situations similar to what these are med meant for. Um, so I reviewed a general mental health app, I reviewed two anti-stress apps, and I also reviewed a PTSD one because it had more to do with breathing, calming down when you're in a stressful situation, which uh, most of us are at some point throughout our lives. So I um, hope you enjoy. So this first anti-stress app is called Headspace. Um, I like this one a lot. It's super simple, very easy to navigate, got lots of resources for every kind of mood that you're feeling and every kind of mood that you might want to be putting yourself in, which is nice. It is really just self-guided meditation. It feels weird at first um, if it's something you're not used to doing, but it's super simple, super easy, very relaxing. Hi. Over the next 10 sessions, I'm going to show you a really simple way of getting some more headspace in your life. And don't worry if you've never done anything like this before. This is a really straightforward technique and I'm going to talk you through every step of the way. Another good thing about this is that I like that you can, it keeps track of what you've been doing. You can also have, um, there are also things for kids on here, which is awesome because they're never too young to find this stuff out. There is a student discount when it comes to this if you want the premium version. I believe it's $9.99, which is a significantly lower rate than it typically is, but the free version also has a good whole lot of things for you. So here we have another stress app. It's called Calm. I like this one a lot. When you open it, it has different sounds that you can pick when you first open it up, which is really cool. It's got all of these different sleep stories which I thought were going to be weird, but they're actually really calming. I listened to one for a little while. For tonight's sleep story, we travel to the south of France. Oh, it's really cool. It's also really nice that you can navigate through other things throughout the app while you're listening to the stories. They have these meditation prompts for all different kinds of things, all different ways that you could be feeling, which is really nice. They have... Also, other music that's not specifically for sleep, but just to help you relax, help you be calm. This can also, while you're using it, you can navigate through the rest of your phone if you felt so inclined, which is a nice ability. Most music app things shut down at that point. They also have these things called daily calms. They have all different topics, different things that they like to talk about. Um, sort of like a podcast, but for mental health, which is awesome. So I really like this app. Unfortunately, it does cost a bit of money. It's anywhere from $9.99 a month to, for some reason, it ranges all the way to $95.99 a month. So if you have the funds for that, I would highly suggest this app. But if not, which is totally understandable, unfortunately, you can only use the seven-day uh, free trial. So this is the PTSD app that I was talking about. Um, it's basically just breathing exercises, um, guided breathing. So you can choose on a scale how you're feeling. And then um, it has you inhale and exhale. What I like about this a lot is that you can um, adjust the time that you take to inhale and exhale so that you don't get dizzy or so you don't um, start to feel nauseous, start to feel gross. They also have other things such as articles about stress and anxiety so that you can learn more if you wish. So if this is something you're interested in, it's something that is for free and I believe all of the things should be available to you. This last app that we're going to be looking at is a general mental health app that I was talking about called What's Up. This app has a bunch of things that someone could use for any number of things um, from uh, help resources, coping strategies, information about things like depression, anxiety, and stress, etc. Uh, personal things, you can keep basically a journal, you can track your habits, and all of those good things to keep yourself checked in within each section, which is the things that uh, you see before you that I'm going through. There are a variety of resources and helpful tips and tricks that they give you. 
Um, this app also has a breathing exercises similar to the other ones, which is nice. Um, it has all different kinds of things within each of the categories, uh, things like the metaphors, the positive steps, all different things. They're kind of just like um, personal little pep talks to get you through your day or to get you through whatever it is you're feeling. They have information about the stress and depression and all of those things, again, just to kind of help you get through whatever it is you're going through. This app also is free to my knowledge, and I also um, don't think that there's any need for purchase of a premium package after a certain time that I know of. All right, so that's all I have for you guys this time around. I hope that um, some of those were helpful for you, and uh, if you try them, I hope that they work out for you. Uh, like I said, there are more apps out there for other things that people are struggling with that I didn't personally review today because I don't have experience with them. But um, I encourage you guys to check those out if that's something you're interested in. And um, hope you have a good rest of your day.